Good afternoon. It is Saturday, January 21st, and I'm back at the North Country Trail 100 mile challenge again, trying to pick up a few more miles. Uh, like I said, it is afternoon. Um, I didn't exactly feel too ambitious today. Usually I'm a morning person. Today I'm not. So uh, we're going to go toward Belmar which is advertised at 2.9 miles. I don't think I'm going to go the whole way. We'll see. Uh, there's your uh, blue North Country Trail blaze to verify that I am indeed on the North Country Trail. And we're going to go this way. Uh, one reason I don't know if I'm going to go the whole way to Belmar is uh, number one, I'm getting a late start. And number two, the weather isn't exactly, well, it's kind of a mixed bag today. On the way here, it rained a little bit, snowed a little bit. So I really don't feel like getting soaked. It's about uh, 34 degrees. So we'll have to see how this goes. One thing that's pretty cool about this part of the trail is it's a uh, abundance of water crossings. Here, I'll show you. This is East Sandy Creek. This thing crosses, and just in this stretch, it crosses waterways about, I think, three or four times. Uh, I don't think all of them are East Sandy. I think some of them are tributaries. But at any rate, it's quite pretty. That's looking upstream. And here we are looking downstream. Yeah, this uh this would be able to uh run this with a kayak probably right now if you had the appropriate equipment i thought maybe the snow would be sticking to the pine trees a little more than it is because it rained before it snowed yesterday on the way home from work it was quite the winter wonderland in spots Okay, if I keep talking, I'm not going to make any time, so let's go. Coming up on another bridge here, and the Mays Mills Tunnel. Um, here, let me stop. I think this kind of illustrates the... I think this is so cool when you got snow at the top of the hill. And then down here in the valley, where it's a little more humid and just a couple of degrees warmer from the running water, there is uh, no snow on the trees. And I just, uh, I never walked this before with a GPS app, but I just confirmed that every waterway we cross is indeed East Sandy Creek. It's not a tributary or... That's looking upstream. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and record until we get to the other end of the tunnel. So this may be kind of long.
this is just a short little tunnel but when the railroad or the rails the trails took it over it was in really bad shape which is kind of kind of strange because it's newer than either the rock under the kennerdale tunnel so what they did was put this liner in uh, you can see how big the opening was for the trains and i'm not going to zoom in but there's a placard up there that says 1945 so then the tunnels along the river are 35 40 years older than that okay here we go now the way this tunnel was refurbished was by putting this liner in which is in about oh, 20 or 30 foot sections. And then the void above the liner was filled with old used tires. And I don't recall exactly when this was done. I'm thinking about 2006 or seven. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record the whole way through here or not because my hand is getting cold. And I wouldn't swear to it, but my shoe feels like it's getting looser, like my shoe is untied. So maybe you'll get to see a blooper and I'll go on my face in the middle of the tunnel. I almost wrecked my bike in here one time. Almost ran into the side. Yeah, I can go through without a light. Yeah, right. Baby, I cannot wait to get the glove back on. Almost there. Hey, there's people down here. Yeah, my shoe's untied. Alrighty, let me tie my shoe. 
All right, we crossed the water right before the tunnel and immediately after we cross again. I'm about 1.3 miles in and I sure do wish that the snow that was on those trees at the top of the hill was on the trees here because that would certainly make for a beautiful sight. Okay, I'm trucking right along. Finally got my hand warmed up. I don't think doing five miles is going to be a issue or I guess it'd be five and a half if I went you know if I go clear of the bridge I'm gonna go down the stairs so to link up my North Country Trail miles I don't have to uh, don't have to do those stairs yeah that would make sense Because I think the next section I want to do is to start at Astral and go down the river to maybe God Rock or maybe clear to Brandon. I don't know. But the little bit between the Belmar Trestle and Astral would not count as North Country Trail miles. I have to go home and think about that. Okay, let's keep on stepping. Another bridge. What's this make? Four? Is this four? North Country Trail Blaze. Just to prove that I am indeed on the NCT. are slippery slippy show you the water again upstream that's where I just came from And downstream. I think I'm halfway. We're coming up on about the only piece of old railroad memorabilia other than the trail itself and of course the bridges that I've ever found on this trail and that's this mile marker. A85 and of course you got to have some dumbass who puts graffiti on it. Pardon my language. And B50. I'm assuming 50, it's 
50 miles from Ashtabula, Ohio. I think that's where this rail bed ended. And the 85, I'm pretty sure this thing ends in Clearfield, so. And that might be about right, I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, we're getting into home stretch now. And we're coming up on another bridge. This is an interesting little area right here I want to alert you to. Now I don't remember what this was like back when the tracks were still in, but I like to refer to this as the East Sandy Dip. It takes a pretty good downhill right here. So just a word of warning, if you're, you know, biking with little kids that don't have a lot of experience, when you get to that cement mile marker back there, you might want to reel them in a little bit so you can uh, keep an eye on them going down here. Because you'll, I picked it up to like 20 miles an hour on my bike going down this thing. You certainly don't want your kid wrecking in the middle of nowhere. Just some advice. Hey, wow, that gate's locked. I've never seen it locked before. that gate. I'm not going to give any directions on how to get down here because you might be able to figure it out yourself from Google Earth or Maps. But this is how the people from the uh, Coal City area used to go to Franklin. probably eight miles or so for them back then. Now it's probably closer to 18. But there's a parking area up here. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to get here. Yeah, you can park quite a few right there. I've only ever seen maybe three vehicles at a time down here though. All right, just wanted to warn you about that little downhill. And of course it goes back up like this. All right, I'm almost done or almost halfway, however you want to look at it. There's the Belmar Bridge. I might bring you back up here and we'll go out there maybe when I get done. But as evidenced by the blazes, we're going this way. Down the stairs. 
but first I got to get down this little ramp, which can sometimes be proven quite slippery. All right. Going down to the Allegheny River Trail under the bridge via these stairs. If you got a bike, they got this handy dandy little ramp right here that you can wheel your bike up or down. Um, I've found that in most instances, it's just easier to carry it. And Don't bang your head. The road I showed you with the dip, that's how it used to come down. Not anymore though, it's all overgrown up in there. This is the way we're going. There's a faded out hen CT blaze on that tree. Got a bit of a drainage problem here. All right, we just came off the Sandy Creek Trail. And now we're at the junction of the Allegheny River Trail. There's a blue North Country Trail blaze. This is where I'm stopping and going back. That blaze is actually kind of inaccurate. There should be one above it signifying a turn just like that one. There's the Allegheny River flowing pretty good right now. As big as I've seen it in a long time. All right, one of these days soon, we're going to continue our North Country Trail jaunt down that way. And I'm going to come from up there, from the end of Astor Road. Of course, that three quarters of a mile or so won't count. All right. I'm going to uh, get in my GPS app and stop my track and see how far I went. And then I got to retrace my steps back. If anything exciting happens on the way back, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, this is goodbye. Maybe until next week, or we'll see how the weather cooperates. We'll see you soon. All right, I lied to you. I'm back already. I said I might go out on the bridge, so I'm going out on the bridge. But mostly I wanted to show you this. Bicycle tracks in snow. Untreated wood. 
Somebody's awful brave.